Welcome back to the Sawmill, friends. First of all, I'm sorry there's not been a lot of videos lately. Me and Dad's trying to get this timber frame dried in. And as you guys saw from the last video, we're just about there. Let me show you guys what we worked on yesterday, and then we'll talk about what we're doing today. guys as you can see the sheathing is just about done we're using half inch plywood up there thanks to my friend Tim Fuller for helping me out on that and I have about one more row left to put up this morning I think about five more sheets and we'll be ready for metal no correction we'll be ready to put the uh, felt on the drip edge some flashing and then the metal and it's already nine o'clock and we have to get this done by two o'clock because we got some snow coming and I would hate to leave this thing uncovered without metal while the snow falls tonight. That'd just be horrible. So hopefully if things go as planned today, and it seems like they never do, we'll get done today by about two o'clock before the snow starts falling. All right guys, for you all that's new to the channel, let me kind of show you what this building is all about. This is a timber frame when you think about the middle of this building right here, I did do a timber frame design. My buddy Jim in New York helped me out on that. I have modern day trusses on top of it. Up there, the Mennonites over in Virginia made my trusses, but the timber frame is all me. It's made out of white pine with black walnut braces right there. Those will look better once this gets completely dried in. I'll re-sand those and you'll see that it's walnut. This is the middle bay right here that we're standing in. It is 16 by 30 right there. Over here on this side, that's almost completed. I have one more wall to close in right there. It's 12 by 30. And this is pretty much a room that's made just for the Woodmiser molder right there. And stay tuned next week, guys. Woodmiser's coming down Monday to put a helical cutter head on this molder. That's gonna be real exciting, guys. I'm looking forward to that. But this room right here also has the power panel. It's also Dublin for tool storage right now. And something else, friends, I've been getting asked about on the channel. I've been showing this on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do. I show a lot of stuff on Instagram that does not make it to the channel. This is a Blue Eddy power, uh, I guess you would call this like a power bank. And guys, I love it. It works really good. I've had it here at the sawmill for about three months. I've been using it weekly down here at this uh, timber frame because I do have power down here, but I don't have any outlets yet. So this has really been serving double duty to keep my phones charged, the camera batteries charged, plus the batteries for the tools. It's got several outputs right here. It's AC and DC both. It's got a real nice LED screen right there. 
And on the top, I've only done this once, you can lay your cell phone up there and charge it also. Now, if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link down below to that company's website. You can go check it out. But a lot of people on Instagram have been asking me about this right here, and that's why I'm talking about it. And I highly recommend this. It is a really good accessory to any sawmill or small business. Because sometimes, guys, you just don't have power. It's nice to have a way to get power to where you're at. So for everybody on Instagram that's been asking me about that, I really would recommend it to you. It's not cheap. It's not too expensive. But uh, it's a good product. And this is not a sponsored video or nothing like that, guys. Just letting you all know my thoughts about it. Friends, back to it now. Dad will be here in just a minute. I'll have to put this down. This is the final room of the timber frame. 14 by 30. This room right here will have the 20 inch planer right in the middle. Then all these walls will be for lumber storage for wood that comes out of the kiln. Got an eight foot ceiling right there and it's about nine and a half on that side. Look at here. The foreman has showed up. Hello, Cabbage. What are you doing, buddy? Somebody asked his age the other day. He's barely a year old, but he acts like he's 20. All right, friends, so hopefully everything will go okay today on this build. We'll get the metal put on and we'll be dried in before the snow comes. And I think Dad's pulling in, so I guess it's time to get to work. You're 30 minutes late. I don't know if the doctor paid for that. So, uh, so Dad is here, and hopefully we'll have a good day today. Think we'll get it done? Yeah, we should. All right. We'll, we'll do try. our best. You guys hang in there. We'll see what we can get done. We'll try anyway. So Dad's right there taking the measurement for the last run of the sheathing. Need about four more pieces, and we'll be done up here and ready for metal. Alright guys, the sheathing is on there. Now we're putting the drip edge on. We got that done right there. Let me see. How many pieces you got left? I got one full piece left here. One more piece of the drip edge, then we'll put the felt on and we're ready for metal. It's going pretty good. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. I think we'll meet the deadline.
trip hasn't taken me very far I've tried to be my own all in all in everything But it's just been a hard and arduous thing When I look back upon the life I have lived And the choices I have made, what do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way But when I give in, no life's good came running at me With an open heart and mind and arms laid down You're a wall and hate and arms let in The light of day and let Jesus show the way But hey, I'm not religious in an old sense I can't stand the way that most priests talk in the state church or else Try to decide each time I had to make a choice about something worthwhile Now I take a pause and I take a breath and listen to them Then I know how to begin With the no all right, friends, I just put on the last piece and we are now in the dry the entire shop which is 30 by 42 is finally in the dry. I am really happy right now. And I'm also really wet. I got soaked up there. It got pretty dangerous there at the end. The snow started coming down pretty good. And uh, I was glad to get off that roof, guys. I don't like heights anyways, and being wet up there made it worse. I was four screws short on finishing it right here on this bottom corner, but I think it'll be okay. I've also got to put the trim which goes right here on the sides, on both sides of it, and get that on as well. But we'll do that Monday or Sunday, see what the weather's showing. I'm gonna go in the house and get warm, guys, and get off these wet clothes. Thanks for watching, friends. I really appreciate it, and hope everybody has a good weekend.